Yes. Right now, purchase any ham or turkey, and for an additional $21.99, choose two of our home-style sides and a pie. And remember, for corporate gift ideas and wonderful catering, we're the perfect place. There's only one heavenly ham. In tonight's Focus Report, more on our exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with anti-war activist Cindy Sheehan. The Gold Star mother who lost her son in Iraq spoke last night at Oneonta College. While applauded by many, Sheehan has also been attacked personally by those who say that she is a traitor who is using her son's death for personal gain. Fox 40's Doug Koch asked her about such accusations. As Cindy Sheehan took the stage, a loud ovation from the 600 or so in attendance at a SUNY Oneonta lecture hall. Thank you. We sat down with Sheehan before her speech. Do you feel that your summer protests were successful? Um, I don't think that they're finished yet. You know, I think they had a huge impact on the discourse in this country and the very fact that, you know, people are now calling for a withdrawal of the troops is um, showing that we're making progress, but we're not finished yet. As far as your contact with President Bush, has he ever said anything to you? Has he ever talked about your protests? Um, he has done it through the media, but not to me. Not yeah, he said that, um, you know, things like, I know what she's saying and I don't agree with her and things like that. Speaking about the people that don't agree with you, mm -hmm. the College of Uniante is bringing in someone tomorrow, a Lieutenant Colonel, who's also a Fox News military analyst. Mm -hmm. He's basically here to counter lecture whatever you have to say tonight. Mm -hmm. He's a staunch supporter of the war. Mm -hmm. I mean, how does that make you feel that people are staunch supporters of a war? That you've been well, I believe that there's a lot of people with good hearts out there who still support it. But um, I think those would be the misled ones and misguided ones. Somebody like a Lieutenant Colonel, I would have to question what his stake would be in keeping the war going. Is your speech at all tonight to divert people from joining the military? I am going to be speaking about how one person can make a difference. Do you believe you've made a difference? Um, I believe so. Sheehan also responded to recent reports from a local newspaper about a possible $11,000 paycheck from the Oneonta campus. Well, I'm not getting paid $11,000, so, and, and I don't really think it's anybody's business how much I am getting paid, but it's not $11,000. It's less, but um, yes, it's going to um, pay my bills, and I've been using my son's insurance money since he died to support myself and pay my bills, and, and for my traveling expenses going all over the country, and, um, you know, even peace activists have bills to pay. Right. Do you yeah. feel at all that this might be an ex exploitation of your son's death? Going no, I believe that these people who are exploiting his death to continue the killing are the ones who are exploiting his death. Doug Kolk, Fox 40 News, first at 10. Weather and sports, next. This segment of Fox 40.